Thank you, Mr. President. All states are obliged under international law, especially those contained in the Charter of the United Nations, to take all necessary steps to the principles of human rights and to prevent violations of international law. The threat or use of force against the political independence or territorial integrity of the people of sovereign state constitutes one of the most serious violations of international law. On 31st of August 2013, U.S. President addressed the public in regards to the use of force against the people of Syria and further declaring he would do so without any lawful authorization under the international law. The current, states of, the current threats to use force by the United States and all its allies are, ne are a serious breach of international law. After the illegal invasion and destruction of Iraq, leading the, uh, to the deaths of millions of Iraqis and forced displacement of millions of others, the world does not need to be reminded of the catastrophic consequences of illegal military intervention, especially one that is based on false claims. For the sake of Syrian people and the rule of international law, the use of force against the Syrian, Syrian people should be opposed. Wars, military intervention and occupations are not the answer to the grave human rights violations occurring around the world. The situation in Palestine, Iraq and Afghanistan are just a few examples to demonstrate how the legal use of force leads to indescribable human suffering and disregard for human rights. All the fabricated justification, notwithstanding the aggression, constitute atrocities that must be condemned and reputated by all those who believe in the rule of law and in international relations. The Human Rights Council and the wider community must have a unified focus of upholding rights of the individuals all around the world in a peaceful and just manner. We therefore call on all the states to demand there will be no aggression against the people of Syria and to enhance efforts aimed at a peaceful settlement of the ongoing conflict in Syria. We further request the Human Rights Council to put questions of the situation of human rights in Iraq in its agenda, as well as point special of a true for the, in Iraq. Thank you.